Hello and welcome to Bucks County and I've just spawned on the map in this beautiful little American house and uh, I haven't actually bought it, I haven't bought anything yet but I just want to have a little look around. I'll show you where we are on the map which is just up here. Uh, now there are various farms you can buy. I'm starting in Start From Scratch which uh, I always like to start and it's more of a challenge. There's a farm here you can buy, there's one here. If I buy this, I'm going to buy it anyway so I might as well just yeah, do this. And you can now see that we have chickens and cows. So let's go over to our farm, which is up this way. Uh, fortunately, we have a house here, but uh, what do we own? What do we own, actually? I've just bought this. We don't own what's on the right of me, this cornfield here. Uh, but we do own this, this field here, which is wheat. And uh, anyway, let's go to our farm. So it's all very quiet. Listen. There's no sound at all. <laughs> so I would like to have some sound. I would like to get some chickens and cows. Unfortunately, uh, when you start from scratch, you do have two uh, buildings here, which one of the, which is the chickens and one of which is the cows. Now let's just see how what the capacity is for cows and chickens by clicking on this. 500. Few. Good. Because sometimes it's like 50 or 60 or whatever. What about chickens? 500. Okay, so I think what we need to do, now we have some equipment, which is this, <laughs> which is a bit strange. To start off on a map with just a forage harvester is a bit strange, and I think I'm going to sell it because this forage harvester, if we sell it straight away, will be worth 403,000, but a little bit more if we um, take it to the shop. So that's what I'm going to do straight away. I'm going to take it to the shop if I can find my way. Um, now I think, I have just practiced a little bit on this map, I think it's down this way. Yes it is, yeah, and it's down this little track here, so I'll do this on a little bit of a fast forward. Alright, so here's a shop on the right here. Let's just have a look at it. And very sadly, we have to say goodbye <laughs> to our crone forage harvester. I mean, we've only had it for a minute, but we still have to say goodbye to it. So, let's put it in here, and jump out, and do the normal thing of repair it, repaint it, and sell it. And now we have no equipment whatsoever. So I think what I'd like to buy is a tractor and a truck and a low loader. So I'm going to go into, uh, I think, the, the Platinum expansion, actually, which is just here, and find a truck, first of all. And I'm going to choose the Volvo F16 Globetrotter, and I'd like to have it a different colour. I don't want to have just the, the base colour, so let's sort that out. I think this is okay. We can always change it. Yeah, let's buy it. We do have quite a lot of money at the moment, so I'd like to get some equipment. And I'd also like to get the low loader, which is this one. Yeah, I think I'll buy it like this. Yeah, this is fine. So, the other thing I'd like to buy is a tractor. So, let's find ourselves, like, maybe like a 200, 250 horsepower tractor. I think I'll go for the, the Fent because uh, we can upgrade this to 246 horsepower. It's got in it at the moment 150. I'll put it at 171 and I'll buy this. Okay, so this is all our equipment. I don't know where it is. Ah, it's here at Clever Motors. Now I thought we were at... Where are we? I'm confused. Clever Motors is down here. We just came to the shop. Okay, now, <laughs> now I understand. We were down here, but all the equipment is up here. So let's go, let's go and get into it. Actually, do you know what? I'm not going to get into it because what we need straight away is a harvester and a, a trailer. So I need the truck, but I also need I also need a harvester. So let's just find a harvester. And I'll go for Old Faithful, the New Holland, this one here. So I'll just hire this. 
and we'll hire the uh, the header and we will also hire the um, the trailer. All right, let's put it all together and get going. All right, so here we are getting back to the farm and uh, this isn't the only farm you can buy on the map. There are other ones, but um, I'll just park this up and I'll, I'll try and show you. Yes, yeah, so before we get started, let's just have a look at the map. And there are some of the farms here, which are kind of... There's one down here. I think there's sheep on this one here. And there's one here, I believe, which is cows. And unless I buy them, I can't really... I mean, if I've got enough money, I can buy them. Let's just see if I can, and then I'll sell them immediately after. So buy this, and then we can see there's sheep here. So let's sell that again. And then just here, we buy this... We can see there's, is that cows? Yeah, cows. So there's cows there. So there's sort of two farms there, but in Start From Scratch, all the, all the um, you know, all the equipment and all the buildings are all gone. So um, I'm not sure. There might be one, another one, which is just here. I'm just going to buy this temporarily. So, but... If this isn't a farm, this is a good place for um, area for placeables. It's a really flat piece of land just here, and you could use this. You know, if there's not um, a production on the map that you want, let's just sell this again. You can use this area here. I'll go to it after we've started on the on the harvesting. Let's just get this sorted out. Now I'm going to try and use coarse blade, but this field in front of us is a peculiar shape, very peculiar. But let's see if we can sort it out with coarse play. So I say it's peculiar because it has, in the middle of it, these trees. If I can just fly for a second. It has these trees, which we could, you know, remove at some point. But I don't, you know, it's kind of a feature of the map that these trees are, are on the field. I don't want to remove them. Uh, so coarse play has to deal with this somehow. I'm not quite sure how it's going to do it, but it has to do it. So... But anyway, let's uh, let's get back into the into here and try and get course play sorted out. All right, so we're on the field. Let's go to active workers and click on him and create job and go to CP field work. Yeah, okay. So open and close course generator. Two headlands normally. Uh, sharp corners and generate and that's it just it just crashed there for a second but anyway let's start job okay so he's going round and let's see how he's going to right okay so he's going to have to go across the field and get round the tree somehow I'm interested to see how he's going to do that but we'll soon find out so all right let's go back to our truck just here and I need to get a, a trailer so let's just get a trailer this one just hire it and okay I'll uh, I'll sort all this out and I'll see you back at the uh, back at the farm I'm a bit worried about rain actually it's got we've got rain forecast you can see in the weather in the weather at the top there How's this guy doing? He's doing alright. He's way over there. Let's see what how much he's got in the tank. 61%. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right, while he's doing that, let's go and buy some chickens because we can immediately start feeding them some of the wheat off of the field. Now, where's, where's the chicken pen? It's behind these trees over here. So I'm going to buy... I don't know, probably like 100, 200, something like that. How much are chickens? So we're going for the $50 ones. Yeah, they're only cheap, aren't they? Let's buy 60. 60 more. And 60 more. 
Okay, so they won't have any health at the moment because they've got no food or anything. So let's just have a look at our chickens. Yeah, no food. But as soon as the guy uh, has a full tank, we can feed them some wheat. That's, so that's good. <laughs> so, and the other thing is, I don't have a house here. I have no home whatsoever. Uh, let's just fly again so I can see the lay of the land. So, um, all the I think all of the buildings are gone because I'm starting on start from scratch and we're lucky to get the chickens and the cows actually but uh, I need to put a house down somewhere uh, I wonder where the house was before well I quite like it over by the field somewhere so maybe in this little corner over here I think I'm just gonna have this static caravan because I don't think too complex I'll be happy living in this actually and I'm not sure what a Pennsylvania house is supposed to look like so I'll put it just under the shade of the tree here that's brilliant that's all I need so let's stop flying I wish I could go in it <laughs> I'd really like to go in it and, and you know get comfortable anyway I think what we should do is get in the truck and go around to the um, to the harvester because he's bound to yeah needs to be unloaded so let's drive around It's due to rain about four o'clock, I think, so we need to keep an eye on that. And uh, I'm getting a bit of tree lag, I think, so uh, apologies for any, any, any lag at the moment. I'm, I'm trying to sort my computer out as we speak. So. Okay, uh, I think that. I'm going to leave the truck here and I would like to get some of this straw baled up so I'm going to go to the go to this actually before I go to this let's get a baler I'll just go for this one this is a pretty posh one and I'm just going to rent it at the moment so it's not a big outlay so okay uh, again let's get it all attached and let's get back to the farm Right, I don't know if I can if I can put this on course play uh, doing all this bailing stuff. So let's just do an experiment and see. Right, well it suggests that you can, but <laughs> That's not quite working, is it? Uh, okay. I'm a bit of a noob, actually, at course play, and I'm not quite sure how to set this up so this is done automatically, but sometimes you have to do things, you know, for yourself, don't you? And I think that's what I'll do. I'll just go around and do a little bit of bailing. Okay, this is a very big field and I'm not even sure I can get it all harvested in this episode because it's so big. Let's just switch this off actually and see how this guy is doing. So he looks like he's going up and down the field now. Yeah, he is. He's missed a big bit there actually. So, alright, let's leave him to it for the moment. And I would like to just show you just one, one or two other bits of the map. So there were bits um, just down here. Uh, I'm just going to run down there like Forrest Gump actually.
like I think this area here um, let's just fly for a second yeah this is definitely or was a farm area I'm not sure what was on here actually let's go through just over here and have a look yeah this was definitely a farm and there were animals here somewhere that is that the thing over there Yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It looks like an, a an animal pen, but I'm not entirely sure what it is. It might be sheep or something. I think all the triggers will come up when you buy the place, but uh, I did buy the place before. Shall I buy it now? <laughs> let's, buy it. let's buy it now. Yeah, here's the trigger. So this is... Horses. Okay, horses. All right, I don't actually want to buy this place, so let's just go back in and... Yeah, sell it. So, um, did we go to 51 down here? What's, what's, what's down on 51? Let's go and have a look. So, we're just here now, and this is what's here. Um, this is... This is horses as well? I'm not sure what this is. Sheep. Okay, sheep. <laughs> okay, so uh, fine. So this is this area, um, and you can see there's nothing here. No, no houses. No nothing. No sheds or anything. And it's all gone because it's we're in start from scratch. So what? Um, I think the other place that I I mentioned was this place up here, which could be a placeable area. So let's go to our house and just pop over there. So, you still have your house, but you don't have anything else here. I mean, it's all gone, I think. So, um, yeah, let's just fly. And, yeah, you can see where things were, can't you? Just over there. So, but I was thinking that this could be a placeable area. If you need more uh, productions, you can use this place because it's very, 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 very flat. I've already kind of experimented with it. And there's no kind of reconstruction costs when you want to put something down. I don't want to buy it because I've just been through all that kerfuffle. So... Uh, but this could be a placeable area for, for new production. So that's what I would use this for. So, um, and the productions on this map. Let's just have a look and see what the productions are. So I've turned all of the hotspots off apart from production. So just up the road is a grain mill, which is handy. And up here, this is a spinnery. And down here is a sawmill. And how many others are there? I don't know what this one is here. It's very near us. It's a, a bakery. Okay. Um, and there's a tailor shop, an oil mill, a carpentry, and a dairy. And I think that's the last one. So there's quite a few. Oh, what's this one over here? Cereal factory. Okay. So if you want any more, you can put them just here if you want to. And what is this place here? Is this on the map? Oh, it's all peripheral stuff. I wonder what that is. Should we go and see? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm none the wiser, actually. Let's uh, see it in the air. Is this the BGA? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Yeah, now I've turned all the hotspots on. It, it is a cell, a cell place, but it, it's a very, very unusual looking one. So hats off to the uh, map designer for that. Very good. So I think this map has everything I need on the map. Um, the one thing I'm put off about is I have a re really, really big field straight away. And uh, I'm used to kind of working up to big fields. But uh, still, we need to get over there and sort out <laughs> sort out the guy. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like to build up to big fields. I like to have small fields to start with. This is normal on sort of, well, British maps, I suppose. Not so much on American maps. Um, but I like to kind of have things to, to aim for in, in the future. And this is a big, big field to start with. OK, I'm going to give a load of this stuff, to of this wheat, to the chickens. And then I'm going to go to the grain mill, which we need to buy. So uh, let's just see where we have to unload this stuff. 
just here. Okay, now I don't know the area very very well, and I need to find the grain mill. Uh, so I know that it's just up the road somewhere. Is it this one here? Yes, it is. Okay, so we come out and we turn right instead of left to go to the shop. So, okay, fine. Let's find our way. Okay, so this is the grain mill. And, yeah, it looks pretty familiar to me. So, just a normal grain mill. So let's go and buy it. We must buy it. 96,000. Wow, it's an expensive grain mill. Okay, all right, let's get everything into it. Okay, so we have a, produ a production. Let's just sort it out a little bit. We put wheat in it, I know, so we'll have that and we'll have it on storing. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's get back to the to the farm because that uh, harvester is bound to need some help pretty soon. And I wonder, what, I wonder what he's doing with the trees. Let's go and find out. So you can probably see, you probably saw then how the how Corsway dealt with these trees in the middle of the field, and the harvester is making some peculiar choices. You know, he chose to go all the way over to that side of the, you know, this bit of field here to to do the harvesting instead of going from sort of left to right. He's doing sort of right to left. I'm, I'm not quite sure what he's doing, but anyway. All right, so. This is where I have to leave it today. We'll just get this guy unloaded as much as possible. And then, you know, I haven't got enough time. This is one of the things that is bothering me a little bit, that it's a bit easy because I started with this massive field, thanks to having the forage harvester at the beginning. If I didn't have that, things would be much more difficult. And that's how I prefer it. I, I prefer it when things are a struggle and difficult, believe it or not, but basically. I enjoy the map because it's an American map. I always like American maps because they're big and there's lots of room and they're big fields. Uh, but let's leave this to this anyway. And uh, this is just one experimental episode and uh, I, I don't think I'll be doing another one because it's not, not quite right for me. So I hope you enjoy the map anyway and hope you enjoy the episode and uh, please like and subscribe.